Psalm 119, verse 17 to 24. Jemal, Lord, open my eyes. The psalmist implores us to pray for God's loving help in opening our spiritual eyes so that we can absolutely delight in His Word, which becomes a lamp to our every step and light on the path we tread. Be bountiful to your servant. Verses 17 to 18. The psalm opens with a bold request for God's bountiful goodness while showing humility by calling himself servant. His motive in asking boldly is solely that he can obey God's word. He further asks that his spiritual eyes be opened to see delightful and wondrous things in his word. Once again, his request is solely to enjoy closer fellowship with God. I am a stranger on earth, verses 19 to 20. As God's child, he knows that his citizenship is not on earth. He continues pleading with God to reveal his word to him. He confesses that his soul is consumed with longing all the time for God's teaching. God's rebuke and curse, verse 21. He knows that insolence are rebuked and those who deviate and wander from his word will be cursed. A clear warning to us to stay and take each step according to his will. Persecution Verses 22 to 23. He asks God to remove reproach and untruths directed at him, while he proceeds to abide faithfully by God's laws, in spite of worldly authorities joyly slandering him. He wants to continue his delight in the higher calling of mediating on God's all powerful word. God's laws are counselors. Verse 24. He sums up that he delights in God's word, which is his comfort and guide. May we all seek and find such wondrous godly delights daily. Psalm 119, verses 17 to 24. Jamal, be good to your servant while I live, that I may obey your word. Open my eyes that I may see wonderful things in your law. I am a stranger on earth. Do not hide your commands from me. My soul is consumed with longing for your laws at all times. You rebuke the arrogant who are accursed, those who stray from your commands. Remove from me their scorn and contempt, for I keep your statutes. Though rulers sit together and slander me, your servant will meditate on your decrees. Your statutes are my delight, they are my counselors. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we ask humbly for your bountiful blessings upon us, your servants. We pray that you continuously open our eyes so that we may see more and more wondrous things in your word. Lord, please keep us steadfast and faithful, never wandering from your word. In Jesus' name, Amen.